Uh, hello. We are back with more... Uh, Homestuck. Where, uh, Rose had just gotten her internet access back to continue helping Egbert with play- or with, with the meteorite coming down to crash. Boy, oh boy, if you're ever jumping into one of these randomly like some of chat is, none of this makes sense. Oh yeah, and I'm here with... Hi, I'm Arm. I'm also here. <laughs> She's sitting there waiting for me to properly introduce her. I'm so sorry, Arm. It's okay. Uh, After all, I am the one forcing you to read this. It's, it's only fair if I sit there with you and go through... Yeah. I want to say pain, but it's not pain. I'm actually enjoying it. Yeah, me too. I mean, there's definitely little elements of like, ooh, I can feel the 2009. Also, God, 2009 feels way too recent for Homestuck. This feels less 2009 and more like 2005. I guess fair, given it, the graphics of it all. Not even just graphics. Like It's very like Invader Zim humor. Oh, yeah, I can uh, feel it. Um, but ye, uh, and by the way, those of you watching on YouTube, always remember that I do these on Twitch as well. If you'd been uh, here on Twitch, you would have been able to see an amazing conversation about lo My Little Pony that infuriated Arm. Maybe somebody could save the clip of that at some point. Oh, please don't. That way don't. it doesn't get lost. It's better if it gets lost. <laughs> uh, anyway... On that note... Equals equals back. greater than. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, I might have been ahead of you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I think you were one click ahead. Oh, God, 30 oh, no. seconds, roughly. I'm back. Hurry up and open my door! Not that it even matters. I think I'm probably dead no matter what! Patience. You still haven't used the new totem. Huh? I believe it will create the item on the punch card. So, what is it? Like an apple or something? What good will it even do? We'll see. I found no evidence that anyone has successfully created the item, and the content of the card appears to be variable from session to session. In one instance, it was described as an eggy-looking thing. Do- <coughs> Excuse me. Do we have- Blah blah blah. Do we have enough of those building uh, jewels to make it? According to the Athenaeum, it is a free item. This speaks to its importance in my view. Now, off you go. Rose, remove door from hinges. <laughs> there goes the rest of your build, Grist. Rose, put bathtub back. You probably should have just done this in the first place. John, take totem to al alchemy. So wait. Removing the door from the hinges costs build grist, but moving the tub back in place doesn't? Logic. John, take Togodum to Al uh, Alchemeter. Got to get those stupid blocks out of the way first. The Colonel Sprite is getting awfully worked up about all this. Oh, by the way, I, I like to say this at the start of every recording session. As evident by this motherfucker jittering in the corner. Uh, seizure warning for this entire series, I feel. Anyway, Fair. Rose, remove blocks. You store the perfectly generic objects in your paraphernalia registry, potentially to be deployed at a later time. Equals equals greater than. John, take bite of apple. I like the area he lives in. Man, this would have been a great ending point for the other stream. <laughs> hey, but it makes a good opening point for this one. 
there. Oh, end of act one. Huh. Well, maybe you should have said something. Who said I have bad memory? End of act one. Oh. What? Years in the future, but not many. Oh, I love this bit so much. A wayward vagabond records a stuttering step in a sun-bleached desert? Hang on, what does that link do? Opens a new tab. I must paint adventures. Let's follow this vagabond for a bit, shall we? Okay, I'll trust you. Man, I love his design. Oh! Oh, there's no, no continuation of this, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it seems like the world just, just ended. Hmm. I love the little MS Paint Adventures logo at the bottom. It looks like just slightly like it's drooling, and I love it. Mm-hmm. So did he not bite the apple in time? Well, we'll, well have no, to find out. He definitely did. Or we just it's just cliffhangering us. Act two. Yep, there it is. Spur beta FAQ walkthrough by Tentacle Therapist. Version 1.0. Last updated 2009 uh, 413. View download original file. Look this up. I really wonder if this is a real fuck hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna look up if this is a real thing. Would you mind if I, in the meantime started just rambling through it? Oh yeah, go ahead. I'd be inclined to dispense with the, the trite, even under less pressing, cir pressing circumstances. Needless to say, I'll forgo the inscrutable as oh, ASCII, the inscrutable ASCII banner, which typically heralds the striking freefall of these documents. I'd also resist the urge to brandish any copyright marks or particular neuroses that cor corners itself with the theft of my utter of the utter utterly mundane. I'll other other deranged prospectors to stake claim on their worthless plots uh, as the woods burn around them. My introduction will be sparse. There will be no majestic prose blustering into the sails of a, ga a galleon as we embark on this voyage together, nor will there be any uh, ham-fist prose whipping its limbs under the bedsheets like a retar- Not gonna read that word. L like a stupid ghost, for that matter. I won't uh, set the stage or dim the lights. The mood, you will see, will soon be, it will be set soon enough. I know she's saying that she's not going to do a thing, or she, in saying she's not going to do the thing, she's doing the thing that she's saying she's not going to do. Absolutely. Since she's you're, full of herself. Yeah. As it feels like all of Egbert's friends are, except the fucking, the two characters you read are full of themselves. Just like the what? real you. Absolutely. I'm the best. Screw you. Of course I need to read them. You couldn't even do it if you tried. Yes, I know. I'm retard- <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm dumb. As proven. Oh, I keep seeing it in the text so my brain defaulted to try and say that. Sorry. I, I know no. a lot of people don't like that word. I hold. Uh, since you're reading this, chances are you have installed this game on your computer already. If this is true, like many others, you are not just uh, you're you have just participated in the in beginning the end of the world, but don't beat yourself up about it. There is never anything you could have done could have done to prevent it. The end is happening right now, as I type and as you read. I have come to understand that we are always doomed uh, through our collective ignorance, and now further doomed by those who know and struggle to flee. If you're lucky, you'll be among the smaller subsets of the latter who are successful. What I mean is, while the game you installed is just one more grinding slab of rock sealing our planet's crypt, it is also your hope to live. 
I am presently faced with the same conundrum as you, and though I speak with more experience, my own outcome is far from assured. I will play the game, or I will play the game, as much of it as there is to play, and record my findings here. If you want to live, you will do as I instruct. My condolences, T.T. Honestly, by saying what she's saying, she's wasted more time as if she's just put in, like, ASCII thing and, like, copyright by her and be done with it. I... What are you thinking? The logic of this world confounds me so much. Like, is this Fair. normal? Or is it normal for a computer program or game to fuck up your world like this? Evidently not by her speech, but then why is she taking this in so much stride? I have no idea. You'd expect some degree of panic. I I'm arguing a bit of, like, disconnect in the writing. I I'll then again... Can I be fair, though? I'm, I love it, though. I'm it gives the sense of, like, weirdness to it all. I'm also throwing out the fact that fucking, like, I am putting a lot to, of bearing on MS Paint Adventures. Uh-oh. Ooh. I just got an alert that my internet had died. But uh -oh. it's- but now it's back. Well, it is approaching the hour when your internet decides to just- So if the stream cuts, you know why. Uh, and if this ends up being too short, it'll probably just go up on the same day as another video. You can just stitch two together, you know. That cry is more editing than, than I'm good at. Anyway. Uh, equals equals greater than. So, did the world still end and this just protect them for the impact? Or did the world still end and this moved them elsewhere? Or did the world not really end because he ate the apple in time? Well, the world must have ended because we saw the vagabond. Okay. I'll well. give it this much. It's very visually striking everything in this. It's got mm -hmm. very good visual design for MS Paint Adventures. Yeah. Equals equals greater than. The kernel divides. The two halves go their separate ways, leaving behind the sprite portion. Oh. Okay. So I guess he just got out of the tutorial is the idea. Mm -hmm. Boy! What is left of the sprite undergoes a mysterious transformation. For a moment, you thought you heard someone say boy, as if whispered in the periphery of your awareness. It was probably just your imagination, though. Y you there, boy. Oh, this thingy. Like this to walk or <gasps> it's playable to walk around use the mouse or arrow keys or WASD keys click on various objects to open command menus for them what what looks different now after you bit the apple your whole house seemed to be transported somewhere then the apple disappeared. This- oh, I would- I- I didn't know this was gonna be a thing. 
Then the apple disappeared, and the kernel sprite underwent a transformation. This just makes me wish that there was an actually good Homestuck game even more. And the kernel, uh, the kernel sprite underwent a transformation. Aside from the change in appearance, the transformation doesn't seem to have any relevant ramifications. When you click on it, it still talks. Oh, wait. the ghost clown can do something with it? The ghost clown is called a kernel sprite, or rather just a sprite now, I suppose. You can't do something with it at the moment. The only thing you can theoretically do with it is tier 2 prototype it, assuming that's still possible. Tier prototype the sprite, or the thing you said, D do it. You're not the one who's supposed to prototype it. The Spurb server user is supposed to do that. What's that? Okay, now it's just looped. You there, boy. What? Boy, listen to me, boy. His name is John, you nincompoop. Boy who is John, do as I say. What do you like the boy who is John to do? My throat's starting to hurt. Obey oh. my commands, John boy. I was trying to do a fucking God of War voice. No. Oh. Kratos. Kratos. That's the character. Kratos from God of War. And those commands would be... I would like the boy to interact with his environment in a constructive manner. I love how it keeps clipping, clipping over the side. Maybe you should be a little more specific. Have the boy access his current, assess his current situation. I'm afraid you can't have the boy do that. Tell him to do it yourself. Very well. Okay. Equals equals greater than. The instruction, or uh, the instruction does not do anything at the moment. Oops. Oh, hang on. Increasingly sophomoric. Also, you also spelled salad in there. The, the key smashing option. Okay, now it's looped. This is bananas. This large platform, good grief, what is it, boy? The alchemizer created a, the apple, or the tree that sprouted it, rather, right on time to save you from destruction. You're not sure if you could say the same for your neighborhood, though. You wonder what happened to your dad. Luckily, he was in the house. Okay. Uh, peek over the railing. Getting close to the railing makes you a little nervous. It's a long way down. Ooh, his pathfinding skills are not good. God, this thing really just looms over his fucking shoulder. Mm -hmm. Boy, open this door and walk through it. Oh my god. Go back out here, but okay. I know, sorry, we're looking at two different- like, you're- we're, we're no longer moving totally in sync. It's okay, I'm just leaving this section to you, and I'll listen. Meaning I won't comment on much, but... Yeah, here. Alright, <laughs> old school. We have, we have webcams on our phones to talk to each other. And so I just turned it to face the screen so you can see what I'm clicking on. This is just bananas. What's down here? Proceed, boy. I'm not fond of this smug fellow. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. What do you have up your sleeve, Anderson? Look at that poker face. He's not telling a soul. Oh, open this. Your dad's room is still locked. Go in there now. Your plumbing appears faulty. Man, Rose did such a pistol job of fixing the bathroom. It would almost certainly uh, be a mistake to try and use this. Uh, use the toilet. I guess you could go pee over the edge of the cliff. Oh. Peer through that window. <gasps> At least your backyard was salvaged too, sort of. Can I click the carpet? No. 
Leave at once. Now go back. That man with the humorous spectacles. Admire him. Oh, Michael Share, your warm smile and shining be your your warm smile is a shining beacon in these dark times. Uh, no, don't don't go down yet. I detest it. Disregard it. The Harlequin painting. You have the uh, the sen you have the sentiment in common with John, then I suppose. Go in there, boy. Let's not go to Pester Trum yet. Let's go back. Go out of the door, that is not here. I guess you can't do the stairs, oh, huh? There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. No, 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 keep moving. Believe me, you have no intention of turning your head to observe this dreadful thing. Why did this small man stand here? <laughs> This Harlequin is always ready to serve you with illumination, whether you're reading a book or just enjoying nice pipes. A small dessert tray? Useless. In retrospect, it was pretty funny when your dad pied you like that. gotcha again by the old man. What is the meaning of this rub 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 Okay, even you have to admit, this one's pretty funny. <laughs> Use this to re- hold on, don't reseal the opening yet. Move this absurd e e edifice uh, and exit your house, boy. This thing weighs a ton, and you'd honestly be surprised if the game cursor could lift it. Or at least not without significant expensive grist. Of all the places for Rose to drop the infernal thing, more th than ever you feel- What's the word you're looking for? Of course. House trapped. <laughs> Use this to- oh my god, he's- He's homestuck, the ho he's stuck in his home in the middle of a void. Mm -hmm. Use this to reseal that opening there. If only putting the lid back on the- uh, cru uh Crustruder. Would uh, uh, undo all that it's done. Alas, Pandora's tube has been opened. <laughs> Terrible pathfinding. Destroy these diminutive soldiers of merry men. It hardly seems worth it to... Worth it to go to the bother. You doubt you could get much... Uh, much for the garbage sale, even. Maybe the grubby palm of... of pe Excuse me. Maybe a grubby palm of pennies and a kick, a kick in the nuts for a whole lot of them. Wield these instruments of combat. Any one of these things would make a fine weapon. If only your strife uh, specubus wasn't already allocated. Oh well. Can you interact with Granny's ashes? I was about to try that. Topple this urn immediately. <laughs> that would be disrespectful to your Nana. You just won't uh, do it. <laughs> or not intentionally, at least. You consider that it's fortunate she's no longer around to witness this sorrow. On the other hand, you would probably benefit from elderly wisdom now. Granny DeVito, guide me. Oh, no. So coy, so mysterious. Stow lumps of soot for further use, boy. This stuff is really dirty and you don't want it. Besides, you have no good authority that... Oh, you have a good authority that a significant portion of it is comprised of asbestos. This way, through the door, le le <laughs> you see in the cowboy saloon. Oh no. Is this oil? You wonder what happened here? Where's your dad? Oh no. Plunder chest. Would you like to play a game? Oh, I thought it was actually going to let me play a little mini game. <laughs> this is a telephone boy, use it. The phone doesn't work. Open the door now. This is no time for laundry. You're right, thank you for being sensible about it. Open this and rifle through it. Hang on, what was it? Open open this and rifle through them for good. Something. You don't give a shit about what's in there. Probably nothing you'd be inclined to use now anyway. 
Exit boy. Admire the wall-mounted gadget. There's, through some mysterious force, your home still seems to be powered, even though the wires are severed. Quite bizarre. Ponder lawn amusement. Your childhood nemesis, the spring-mounted pogo ride, sadly was not swallowed by the void. It will have to wait another day for it to, uh, come up in s Uh. Wasn't the PDA out here somewhere? Uh, hang on. Sorry, I just slightly distracted for a second. Boy, engage in this mangled tempest display. Looks like your swing is, uh, uh, set is toast. You leave really fond memories in a moment of sorrow. It, uh, imagine if it was still standing right on the edge. That would be fun to use. By fun, I mean not at all fun. <gasps> oh! Claim the dangling tree bobble. The trick handcuffs are still there, thank god. And no, you're not about to claim them just now. How do I... Oh no. Come on. Go. Go back. John. Oh, wait a second. This is much easier to control. Hmm. I don't think I can... I don't think it's here. The PDA. Hmm, that's a shame. Oh, oh. I think it fell over the edge. Just rest in peace, brave soldier. R.I.P. P.D.A. That sounds like it should be part of like a song. Uh, back into the house with you. And then over here, go back here. Peek in the bowl of goo. Whatever your dad, wherever your dad went, it seems he left in a hurry. Uh, for all his absurdities, you have to put up with. You sure wish you were here right now? That's adorable. Your dad was so proud of you when you drew this. He hung it up immediately, and it stayed there ever since. That was one week ago. <laughs> oh, oh! I thought it was gonna be a lot, like older. Uh, let's see here. Sniff the vegetables. Doesn't smell like anything. This book is too big for a young stupid boy. Car uh, Colonel Sasakaris uh, is your favorite book. Almost his favorite has Wise Guy. They're both your favorites of all time. Sample powdered uncooked dessert. Back ye miserable wench. Stay thy choking airborne particulates of temptation. <laughs> Is Betty Crocker big in America? Yes, huge. Here, boy, in here. Uh, inspect this merry band of performers. Kirk de Soleil once filled a restraining order against your father. You were never emb um, more embarrassed in your life. This is You're a mess, Kirk boy. de Soleil too. It's Sark de Soleil. Sark de Soleil. I'm so dumb. Fucking Captain Kirk speaking. Uh, you're so glad your dad wasn't watching when he did this. He never would have let you hear the end of it. <laughs> Operate this instrument. Oh, you play your favorite haunting refrain. This is a tobacco burning apparatus. Yuck, you still have a pipe taste in your mouth. Throw this ugly thing out the window. You will not do that intentionally. Your only resort to throwing stuff out the window for your Silidex mismanagement. <laughs> this man is an imbecile, ignore him. He's alright. Looks like he doesn't take himself seriously. And uh, knows you have a good... Uh, and no such have a good time. You can only assume your dad hung it to make it look more whimsical. 
as a knife. Be armed by it. <laughs> be alarmed by this. Rip Ledger. Oh, it's Heath Ledger Joker. Man, Heath Ledger Joker is already dead when this came out. Oh, Homestuck feels so much older to me than it actually is, and I don't know why. I guess it's because I didn't engage in it when it was a thing. And so, like, I only got it, like, through, like, drip feed post, like, after the fact. Oof. It's dark out there. I can't see anything for miles. Just let me turn down that music a teeny bit. I see treachery in his eyes. Oh, he doesn't look so bad. Um, uh, see the look riches mysterious. he guards below? This, all, this one only offers a wave, but yeah, it's really just another stupid piece of shit. Open no. this iron vault, boy. I don't know the combination. Disregard this nonsense. Your dad used this stuff sometimes to dazzle you with silly uh, Varden Vale escapades. Really, you couldn't roll your eyes enough at this corny act. So I guess the dad's probably like a clown, actually, considering all the Harlequin stuff and him being a street performer. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, consume nut. <laughs> you would, but you're not sure if oh, this dark no. realm has any hospitals. Read unpleasant literature. Serious Jester. Serious Jester magazine. For those whom the clowning around is serious business. Alright. Uh, let's head out. And I guess let's go back upstairs finally. To the room. So okay, that door to the balcony is over here right next to his room. Hmm, that makes sense. Out into the hallway and such. This huge- oh wait, hold on, I wanna- I oh, can't use the calendar. This huge sewing machine, of what use is it? The punch card seems to contain the instructions for carving a totem of a certain shape. You guess maybe the punch card will produce different shapes. It bears further exploration. Wise guy, this funny text, you should ignore it. Just mm -hmm. looking over the cover cracks you up. What a great book, Harry Anderson is your hero. And Mike uh, Carnaby's glowing treat, uh, treatment of the man does him every bit of justice. You'll give this another read soon. Acquire this small Persian rug. It's a towel, dumbass. It will probably come mm -hmm. in handy if cleaning up this weird mess in your room. Not that it's hu a huge priority, though. Look through the window. Oh, he's got a tire swing. At least you're a tire hey, we, we remember that, don't we? Talking suicidal tire swings are oh, a yeah? plot point in Homestuck. Oh. Old, ti old tiry. I guess you could just say he was a little bit tired of life. Oh my god, did they really make the joke? Holy shit. No, no, I made it. Oh, okay. At, least your, at least your tire swing remain, whoa, remains unmolested. A tree without a tire swing is like, like a house without a surrounding neighborhood, you guess. Oh. Uh, marvel at this adventure in outer space. Uh. This movie is okay. This movie is really bad. Or, this movie- is there. This movie is okay. This movie is really bad. Not even you can defend it. You've been me meaning to take this poster down, actually. Armed foes of the deceased. Most people say the second one was not as great as the first, but you feel just the opposite. It was really cool and sort of gross how they hosed each other down with slime that made people uh, made people angry. Chigi refers to the film's nasty man bro bukaki. Oh. refers to the film as nasty man bro bukaki theater, whatever the hell that means. Oh no. Oh, like you said. Clearly, she's into some shit with that grimoire. Examine this unpleasant fluid. What is this stuff? Observe this box. The bunny's not in the box. I said the bunny is not in the box. Why could, uh, couldn't the bunny be in the box? This door explained this. Marsha did a number on your house, but you guess she did manage to save your life. You guess. Is that John uh, Cusack? 
Yeah, you guess so. But damn, that door is covering up your man, your man Cage. Something serious. That ain't cool. Inspect this gay for Cage. man and his boy. What'd you say? He's gay for Cage. Confirmed. Yeah. Fred Savage has a punchable face. Your ass. More like talented young actor face who would wa want to who, who you would want to hang out with if you got the chance. Also, if you were not full. <laughs> If you're not a fully grown man now. Anyways, the thought of monsters lurking in your house scares the shit out of you. Which is why this movie is so awesome. But the fact that those monsters could also be your best friend, that is what makes it doubly awesome. <laughs> what a nerd. There's nothing to interact with on there. Can't interact with the CD rack. Investigate this device. John, are you there? It seems you're still connected to the internet. Rose is trying to get through with you. You'll reply in a moment once you've fully assessed your situation. Um. And you know what? I'm thinking. Oh, good timing, Tyrant King. Because I'm thinking that we're going to wrap up before we push on. After having fully explored Egbert's house. All right, yeah, All right. we're gonna push up, uh, or we're gonna push on next time. I think I'm done streaming for tonight. Um, I hope everybody has been enjoying this. And one more time for the uh, for the Twitch users, <laughs> if you've been enjoying this so uh, so far and you're on Twitch, uh, say so down in the suggestion box down below, or give suggestions of other series you may like to see. You can do the same on YouTube down in the comments section. Give me any suggestions you'd like to hear and like anything you'd like to see. I check both of these as frequently as I can. Uh, if you've been enjoying this on YouTube, give it a like. Subscribe and ring the bell so you can know when more episodes come out. And if you've been enjoying this on the Twitch front, uh, give the Twitch post a like, maybe even a reblog. And if you want to communicate to me there, I'd recommend using the suggestion box. Or the sorry the the ask box on my Tumblr, which is by far the best way to communicate with me aside from being here live on the streams to talk back and forth with me. On all three platforms, I'm Alaric, and all three interlink to each other. I hope you've all had a wonderful time. I've been Alaric or Brian, and I've been Arm. All of you have a wonderful night. Ta-ta. Bye. Car is driving outside. <laughs>